Hello everyone, welcome to Ultra Unknowns. Today in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a company route in the Boeing FMC. What I mean by Boeing FMC is this little computer down here. As long as it's a Boeing aircraft and not an Airbus, this should work with regardless whether it's a 717, 273, 456, 7 or 787. Any of the Boeing series aircraft use the FMC, not the MCDU like the Airbus. So as long as it's a Boeing aircraft, this should work. So what you want to do once you've got your FMC up and running is go to the route page, enter your origin and destination to start with. Today I'm going to be using an example route of Los Angeles to Las Vegas, which is Kilo Lima Alpha X-ray to Kilo Lima Alpha Sierra. I'll input there and I'll do AAL568, American 568 will be my flight number. And now what I need to do is I'll see this co-route section. Now that's what we're looking at today, it means company route. And I've previously done a tutorial on how to create a flight plan using Simbrief and how to export it to a simulator so it can be later loaded as a company route. Today I'm going to show you how it can be loaded as a company route. So for FSX users they can go on to a folder called Flight Simulator X files and that will be in documents you'll have a .pln file there and for Xplane users you can go to your Xplane root folder for mine, mine is right here and you'll be able to find your roots or what you can drop on if you haven't made one yet in output and FMS plans. If you're not sure how to get a .fms route, please consider viewing my tutorial on how to create a flight plan which uh, uses the dispatch service of Simbrief. So the only reason why you need to refer to these files at this stage is these contain the information that your company route is going to use that you have downloaded from your dispatch service, for me Simbrief. What you need to know though to get this into the FMC is simply the name. You can forget about the .fms part, that is simply about the X-plane format of what it will read, but you need to remember KLAX KLAS01 for this, or it may be easier to just rename it to something that you'll remember for your route. However, in this scenario, I do need to remember that, and that's all that I need to enter in the company route section here. So I'll go Kilo Lima Alpha X-ray to Kilo Lima Alpha Sierra 01. That was the name of the file, so when I paste that here, it's going to give me an option to activate it because it has recognized that file. Can press activate and execute. So now what you can actually see is that it has loaded as direct to MISIT. That's only one waypoint. Now the reason being is it loads your route for you still does company routes but you still need to select your own SIDs and stars in X-Plane. So go to departures, select your departure runway, I'm just going to choose a random one, select a SID and click on route, press execute and you can pick your arrival, pick a runway and a star, and then go back to route, press next page, I've got a discontinuity so I'll just clear that on here. I do have a tutorial on clearing discontinuities on my channel page if you would like to check that out if you're unaware of how to do so. However I can now go to route, it is loaded that I want to go to Mizen after my star and after my SID, sorry, I want to go direct to Mizen and then continue on through. So literally all that I need to do, it's probably a better example to actually use a longer route than this 230 nautical mile route, but to use this company route I didn't need to type in any of the waypoints, there was only one for today being Mizen, however for future flight plans and that all that I need to do is select my departure, select my arrival, and then plug in the company route here, and I will have my flight plan ready to go there for me. So rather than typing in all the waypoints individually, or using airways just by going through the FMC, uh, company routes are very useful to just save yourself a bit of time, so I hope this tutorial has been a bit of a help to you today guys, and I'll catch you again soon.